Hey guys, Jim the Game Guru, and I found something super cool. I just, I had to get it. So I saw this on Amazon. I've never heard of this game before. It's Dungeon Royale. Uh, and as you can see, it's kind of, kind of got the Game Boy aesthetics on the, on, the, on the actual box. This is supposed to be like a battle royale, like a video game battle royale with a little bit of kind of like a retro pixel art and in a board game, which sounds super, super cool. Check, check out the box. It's from Gatwick Games put this around you can see they actually put all the detail on the side of the box to make this look like an actual Game Boy even the cartridge slot in the back very very cool yeah I wonder how it plays I, I, I took a quick look at the um, the actual instruction manual I haven't actually gone through the unboxing the full unboxing through it yet but I'll do an unboxing on this video here and then kind of pull the boards out and just kind of explain some of the things I've read in the manual of how it plays and looks pretty cool pretty cool so I am curious to see how it plays I, I can't wait to play this with somebody but I it just the box feels fantastic it is I mean it's solid like like even when you like you open it up and close it it's got that kind of nice like magnetic kind of seal to it right there boom we just hit it um, but yeah let's go ahead we'll open this up and take a look inside uh, take a look at some of the pieces lay out the boards and just kind of go over kind of in a very uh, high overview of how it's played all right let's do it let's dive into this bad boy board game by Gatwick Games Dungeon Royale the battle royale game in a board game okay so first thing is the manual. This is what I was kind of reviewing a little bit earlier before I... Uh... So, calling all heroes. The king is on his deathbed with a rare Breckenridge disease. No healer in the kingdom has found the remedy. All right. The king has offered a great war for any hero that dares enter a dungeon and retrieve the stone from the dragon so in this game you have to go into a dungeon to retrieve a stone from this dragon to it's called the stone of life in order to help the king and it's all this like, this entire book is kind of got like this like almost 8-bit style font on here with some other font that's kind of regular font but you, you're supposed to get like artifacts in here and, and basically it's a battle royale. You go around, you kill other people or you steal from them and uh, get art, artifacts and loot and stuff and then exit the dungeon after you get the stone of life. So you get the manual, then you have this other insert, calling all heroes, dungeon royale. It's got two boards that you play on. So we'll go ahead and this I think I can't remember, I, I, I can't figure out what this is for. I think this is something for like recording high scores. I mean there's stickers with some kind of something. I don't know. I, I can't tell which way this goes. I don't know if you have, to, you have to write a score in your name or something. I have no idea. I, I, I can't find this referenced in the instruction manual at all unless I'm just missing it somewhere in there. All right, let's go into the game board. Yes, the game board. Oh, I like the way they give you the, these drawstring bags. A lot of game game uh, manufacturers don't do that. They give you those stupid little, like these, these little plastic Ziplocs, but even for your bigger stuff. So this actually gives you a couple of these nice drawstring bags for your other stuff, like your dice and stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and open up this board. I'll put that aside for a second. This board has two sides, so... I don't know where to put these instruction manual. I'll just put that up there. So the board has two sides. And it looks like maybe this is victory point stuff up here. I think so. It goes all the way 1 to 30 and then all the way up to 60 on the other side here. So really, really cool. Let's see if I can hold this up to show you guys a little more. And it's, late. it's basically like a dungeon. And in this particular one, you have lava, which you get like minus 2 points or 1 point or whatever for going through. And then you have like the dragon up here that's got the that has the stone of life up here. Neat. 
And this other side, so this one's called the Red Mansion. This other side is called the Dungeons of Gorgoth. And this one is kind of more of a classic dungeon inside of a castle. Everything got everything has this kind of like pixel art style aesthetics to a kind of 8-bit-ish style or even 16-bit. So what you do is you uh, once you start off in one of these spots, it's one, two, three, four, five. And you have to make your way through here and either steal or battle other people. Um, you can you can kill them. Uh, I don't think they they stay dead forever. I think there's something they they, they they respawn in the in the in the actual on the actual board, and then after you get everything after you get the the stone of life, which you need to get to like level three, you have to upgrade your character to level three. But once you get the stone of life here, you kind of go back and try to exit out through here to the game over, and then once you do that, then the game is over. But from my understanding of reading the manual, you don't have to actually get the Stone of Life to win. It's not a guaranteed win because you get the Stone of Life. You can get points from like gold and treasures and artifacts and things too. So I guess I'm just gonna put this down like this. Why not? Uh, so you have two bags that come with it, which is cool. Two little zip, uh, not Ziploc, uh, drawstring bags. So in here, what else do we have? Let's go into more of the container here. I like this. Look at this little cartridge box. Let's see if I can open up this. I'm hoping this is not one of those plastic wraps that are as hard as hell to open. Yeah, so let me go ahead and open up this Game Boy cartridge. This, I think, might be the cards. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. Yep. So all your cards are in here. And look, they wrap this, and then they wrap the cards individually. <laughs> and as an extra challenge for this game, you're going to have to unwrap twice. You get bonus points if you can get to the cards. Sweet. Let's see if I can open that up. Uh, these look like action cards. Yep. So here we got action cards health potion days which kind of looks like i don't know I'm, I'm guessing that's some kind of action against somebody Ooh, the cards feel really good they're very um they're they're not that kind of rough matte style cards they're kind of like um a smooth very hard they actually feel oh i, I like the backside too of those cards look at that that's cool dungeon royale uh reflect slowed treasure hunt dodge um, attack. These are attack cards. Uh, looks like you got boomerang. You have an axe. Uh, you can attack with a bow and arrow. So half pike poisoning. You can poison people, or it's an, well. I guess it's a some kind of an attack when you poison. Boomerangs, cherry bombs, ambush. Looks like there's various attacks and. Uh, actions you can do these look like they're uh okay these are just information like kind of action cards they tell you what you do it says you can move you can you can move three spaces with the move with the, with the uh, move dice and then it tells you what you can do on your turn and then how you level up to two and three very neat and it also gives you um dice information on attacking all right cool so let's put these cards to the side. Let's open up the other one. If I can get it open. It's got one of those little strips that you pull the, t the thing to open it, but I, I can't even grab that strip. Uh, I'm just gonna go from here. And do it the rough way. All right. So we go here. Looks like we got some more artifacts. These artifacts, um, so when you're playing the game and you're leveling up, it seems like you can either collect artifacts to level up, so if you collect a certain amount, or you can actually kill a certain amount of people to level up. So I think it's like if you kill three or collect three artifacts, you go to level two, and if you kill five or collect five artifacts, you go to level three. And level three is the level you need to be at in order to be able to take the Stone of Life. Some, oh, some enemies here. So we got, these are all artifacts. Get some bats. Oh, these are mini bosses. Bats, brute, 
Fire Ogre, Ghosts, Hand of Doom, Mummy, Vampire, Werewolf. And these are all kind of pixel art. Really cool looking. And these, yeah, here's some treasures. Diamonds worth two points. Uh, what else? Gold worth one point. I wonder if there's something below gold. Probably not. Yeah, gold. There's a bunch of gold. A bunch of gold. Holy cow. And then you have some scrolls. Scrolls of foresight. It's an extra action. Really, really cool. Super cool. I love the back, too, like I already said before. Let's go ahead and dump that there. Here, we've got tokens. Ooh, these tokens actually kind of feel kind of good. Let's see what these kind of... Uh, if I can get them out. Uh, these tokens right here, I'm probably going to put in the drawstrings because they're... Yeah, so these tokens are like little wooden tokens. Uh, that one's got a crown. This has got a mage's hat. I don't know what they do. And this one's got like an hourglass. I don't know if these are like status effects. Oh, here's one worth four points. Maybe if you do something, you can get these as point point mark. Oh, oh, I see. The other side, the other side of these. Like, so this is with the 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 mage hat. On the other side, there's points. So I guess as, as you collect things for your character, they're worth points. And look, you can even get a torch. Very, very cool, and that's worth four points too. So I guess you can kind of collect equipment. So this is the, the dragon though. Look, this, is the, this, might, this might be the stone of life with the dragon. I'm not sure, because this one's worth six points. Okay, this might be the first player token, I'm guessing, I don't know. It's only one of them there. Um, you are supposed to re reveal your moves at the same time in this game, so I don't know if there's actual turn order or if the moves are just in one turn and everyone does it at the same time. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get rid of these ziplocs. Here are your dice. Ooh, wow, these dice feel um, they feel pretty good. They're, like they're, they're, some of these are wooden though. So here's your. Here's your movement dice, and they're, this is kind of like a light wooden die. Oh, they're actually all wooden. Even this red one here is wooden. So these dice are used for different things. I'm not sure what these blue and red and, and even this white ones are. I, I'm guessing they're used for like kind of attacking or something. Um, these green ones. But these wooden ones, I know, are the movement ones. Each player gets three movement dice, and then they secretly, they secretly, sit. so each one of these counts as one move, right, in a box. And each player will have three, and then what they do is they secretly say, you know, where am I gonna move? North, west, south, east, or whatever. Or maybe I have three easts, right? And they secretly hide them while, as they're doing it, as they're, as they're setting up their die, and then everyone reveals their movement die at the same time. So I guess that's how they do the randomization of p players being in, in, in spots where you don't expect that player to be. And you're like, oh no, and that's probably kind of like the battle royale aspect where it gets you into the vicinity of somebody else. And you didn't know they were going to move there. And then, then you can do killing and stealing or whatever. Um, okay, so if I, that's the dice. Here's your teleport door. So in this game, you can actually put these teleport doors on the board in certain places so that like if, if you had a teleport door there and like maybe a teleport door here you're supposed to be able to like once you go into a door you come out the other side on to wherever in that dungeon that the other side of that teleport is which is neat so they have teleporting capabilities um i have no idea what these are these are like little black clips uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Let me, let me pull one of these out and see. Yeah, I don't know what these are. They're like black clips. I have to figure out. I have to go to the manual and find out what those are. I mean, it, it almost looks like they're, they're for like sticking cards in there and it holds all your cards together. Maybe. Maybe that's what it's for. These are your stands for your character cards. So you have like these little plastic stands for your character cards. Okay. Uh, what else? Let's keep going. Keep go yeah. See, here's the high scores. You see that? And I was right. So this is the high scoreboard. And what happens is you take that sticker, the sticker sheet I, I showed earlier, and you write down your name, I guess, and the score, and you slap the sticker. And then every time somebody beats the score, just like in a video game, 
you uh, you you pull the one sticker off and put the new one on. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Okay, some tokens with swords and skulls and stuff. Maybe it's used for attacking. And maybe if there's a death, you put a skull on somebody for a death. Here's another eight-sided die. I believe this is for certain actions. I. Uh, for determining certain things. I can't remember what that was. I remember reading that in the manual about something wrong. And look, here are your player boards. Really nice player boards. I like that. You can see like the pixel art too. So you have uh, Maverick the Gregornaut, Dana Danagon, Flora Plumley, uh, Cortana Zeldra, Sonico Oxblade, and Jinx Denagon, okay? So there's your player boards. This right here, and I, this is probably how you could, you level up your character and stuff. Because as you level up, you have more life. And maybe what that little um, death token was that you stick it on here and then you move it up and down to how close you're gonna die. These are your um, characters and you stick them into the plastic stand. So if I punch these out, I can just put that in the plastic stand and put it on the board. And that's it. That looks like it's everything. Um, just put this back in just like this. So I can put all this dice in one of these drawstring bag. Um, I could end up putting these tokens as well that I have over here. But really, really cool. I mean, you can see awesome box, awesome box. Um, I really like the fact that it's got two board, two boards, one on this side and the other side. You just flip them over and you can play. It offers a little bit of variety. This is probably maybe the easier board. The other one on the other side that has all the extra dangers with lava and stuff like that. Maybe those are, that's a little harder. I'm not sure. This one, yeah, yeah this one goes to, to, this one goes to 50 though, from one down to 50. Um, the other one went to 60, it went all the way to 30 and then back to 60. Uh, I'm not sure what this is down here. There's some kind of like one, two, three, four with dice. I have no idea what that is. But yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Look, it looks like you put your players on the board. You move them around secretly by revealing your move at the same time. You can put teleporters on the board and move between that. You can attack, gain artifacts, gain gold. You want to get the stone of life, level your character up to level three and get the hell out of there. And then that's kind of how you win. And when you interact with people, you steal on the board. You steal um, from them. You can kill them. And um, yeah, it looks very, 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 very interesting. Uh, again, I'm going to say this again because I know I've said 5,000 times. I love the box it comes into. I like the whole merging of the video game concept and sticking it in a board game. I kind of feel like both worlds are kind of the same. I mean, the cardboard world and the digital world, they're both games. They both have similar concepts. And to have this game push both of them in the same thing is very, very, very cool. But that's it, guys. Um, this is Dungeon Royale. It's from Gatwick Games. Um, I'll do a follow-up video later on once I get around to playing it with somebody to you know, kind of show you how if it was to kind of go over and see if it was really fun or not. I'm not sure how fun this game is. It looks really, really cool. Um, the one concern I have in this game is the movement because you reveal your movement at the same time. And there have been some games in the past that I've played that have had that similar concept. They didn't work out very well. And I'm hoping that this game doesn't suffer from that. But I don't know yet. I gotta play to find out. But that's it. This is Dungeon Royale. It's the unboxing of it. And... Um, it looks absolutely amazing, and I will catch you guys later. See ya!